Hello students, welcome to the YouTube channel Easy Learning. In this session, we are going to see the chapter function part 2, which is under the unit problem solving techniques. I hope you have all viewed the first video function part 1. Let's start. In this session, we are going to see the important topics, interface and implementation, pure function and impure function, side effects of impure function, chrome, chameleons of chrome land problem using function, an interesting problem. Let's start. What is the interface and what is the implementation? Interface just defines what an object can do, but won't actually do it. What is the meaning? What is an object? An object is a thing which is having a characteristics and a behavior that is defined as the object. For example, a pen is object, a table is object. If a pen is object, a pen is having a characteristics like um, it's white in color with red cap. You can describe anything, anything else like that. Then what is the behavior? It is used to write. So this is said to be an object. Okay, then. I think these things you have known while you are learning your C++. Anyhow, now we will have a recap. Uh, take the object gear. We know that it is used to increase the speed. But we don't know how the gear increases the speed. I know gear is object. It is used to increase the speed. If I move the gear, automatically the speed will increase. I know this. But I don't know how it is increased the uh, speed of the engine. That means the mechanism, I don't know. Up to this level, it is interface. Then come to implementation. Implementation carries out the instructions defined in the interface. That is, the execution part of the interface is said to be implementation. So, interface is the template or the function prototype. Implementation is the function definition which actually executes the process of interface. Is it clear? See this. Min 568. By seeing this, I can understand that it is a function with three values and it is going to calculate the minimum among the three values. I know this. I can understand this. But I really don't know the logic how this function minimum is going to do the process. This is interface, the real explanation or the definition which actually executes the thing, that is implementation. Simply, function prototype is said to be interface, function definition is said to be implementation in this level. Is it clear, children? Now, come to the next topic. Pure function. What is pure function? It might return the same result for same argument values and it has no side effects like modifying an argument. See example, it's a Python program and the output. Uh, fifth chapter onwards, we are going to start the coding. But just have a look. Print len of welcome. That is, I want to print the length of the word welcome. First time execution, the result is 7. Next time execution, the result is 7. Obviously, it should be 7 only because the word is welcome alone. So, the number of letters will be 7 always. This type of function is said to be pure function. That is, it will give the same result for same arguments. Then come to impure function. It always, it may be, uh, it always return different result for same arguments. What is the meaning? See an example, print random dot ran integer within the bracket 1 comma 10. Uh, don't be in a panic, what is this, I don't know. We'll see in later chapters, just have a look. There is a function called rand integer. That means I want to print a, a random number between the integer 1 to 10. So while executing this, I'm getting the answer as 5. Next time the answer is 2, that is this function print randomly any number between the value 1 and 10. So, this is the reality because I want it randomly, random number. So, each time the function will give different values. 
it will be useful in many times. So the impure function characteristics is it will give different result for the same argument values. It is very useful in many places. So pure function is same result for same arguments. This is also necessary. Impure function is different result for same arguments. This is also in need. So we must decide where I have to use pure function and where I have to use impure function. Next, see a, another step in impure function that is side effects. One of the most popular groups of side effects is modifying the value, modifying the variable outside of function. I, I hope you have learned the scope of the variables. That means the uh, variable inside a function, outside the function, local variable, global variable. Uh, we will see this in detail. It is also in Python. Now have a look. This is why is above the function. So it is in global place. The function here is inc that is increment and inside the function there is a change y equal to y plus x. That means the zero value is changed and, and uh, this function is returning the value of y. So this function is used to, to change the value of a variable outside the function. In some place it is very very important to change a value. So the impure function is useful in many places. See a Python program, y equal to 0, print y. So the value of y, while we print, will be 0. Here there is a function definition. Def is a keyword to define a function in Python. The function name is given, open bracket, close bracket, colon, don't panic, don't think, we don't know what is this spam. Everything will be explained in detail in later chapters. It is given here just to just for an example, y equal to 8 plus 5. So the value of y is changed here and we ask to print here the value of y. Increment, open bracket, close bracket. This is said to be the function call. Here the function is called. So the control will go here. The definitions will be executed. And this we are going to see the chameleons of Chromeland problem using function. Construct an algorithm that arranges meetings between two different types of chameleons so that they change their color to the third type. In the end, all should display the same color. What's that? First step, there are many number of chameleons of three colors. Actually, we, do, we don't know the number. That means we don't know how many numbers are in yellow, how many numbers are in yellow, blue, how many are in pink. But there is a, a strategy that is meeting meeting between two types of chameleons will change their color to the third type. That means if a blue and yellow chameleon meets, then both will change to the color of third one that is pink. If it keeps on moving like that, third step, that means at the end, I, I want, I, the end should be all the chameleons in the same color. So how to achieve this? Achieve the, to achieve this, there is an input condition that is A equal to B, be the input property. What is the meaning? Here A, B, C that are the counting of first, second, third chameleons. If it's so, then the first and second or any two must be in same number. Then the output relation, that means at the end, A equal to B equal to 0. That means all the chameleons in first and second place will be 0. Then the third counting automatically be the summation of all the three numbers. This is the end result. So let us represent the number of chameleons of each type by the variable A, B, C and the initial values A, B, C. See the function name with three variables and the input is a equal to small a equal to capital A. That is first chameleon, second chameleon, third chameleon. The input property is a and b must be in same number. And the out expected output is at the end a and b which is all in the which are in same size must become to zero and the third type must be the summation of all the three. 
the condition is if a and b decreases 1 then c has to increase by 2. Let's see interestingly what's the mechanism behind this. As it is in while loop it is said to be iteration. So first a yellow color in 3 number then b blue color also in 3 number. This is the input property we require any two must be in same number and the third one can be any number it may be same may not be same here I am taken as four so yellow color thick three chameleons blue color three chameleons and the pink one four in the first iteration a minus one that is two b minus one that is two then c plus two that means this yellow and the blue meets so it changes to pink so one number decreased in yellow one number decreased in blue, two number increased in pink. In the next iteration, this two will decrease to one, A minus one, B minus one, C plus two. So it is H. Can you see this? Here one yellow and blue and changes to pink. Then the third iteration, this yellow and blue will meet and join with the color of pink. So A minus one, zero, B minus one, zero, c plus 2 and it is 10. So the final thing is the c is equal to the summation of a plus b plus c that is 3 plus 3 plus 4. 10 is here and you can change you can see the changes in the chameleons. All the 10 are here but with the same color. Is it interesting? Thank you children for watching this channel. If you like the video, subscribe this channel to watch the upcoming videos. Thank you. Have a good day.